Welcome uh, to all the citizens of Louisville to the National Leadership and Skills Conference. Uh, you're standing in the middle of what we call the Skills USA Championships. Uh, we'll have almost 15,000 people, maybe even more, here at this conference this week, Monday through Friday. This is the first day of what we call the Skills USA Championships, which involves 100 contests, trade and technical contests, and leadership contests. There will be 6,100 students competing in these contests. All those students won their state level contest to qualify to come here. Part of the annual Skills USA competition, thousands of students from across the country and right here in Kentuckyana compete in a wide range of categories from graphic design to cosmetology, and some even leave with a scholarship or a job. Their executive director, Tim Lawrence, is here with us. Uh, Tim joined Skills USA when he was in high school. He's here with two of the group's national officers, the superstars of the whole <laughs> show here. We should also say Tim is our co-host for the day in honor he won with a, a contribution to charity. Samantha Dorwin, welcome to you. Hey. It's good to have you here. Tim, welcome to you. Good morning. Thank you. And Catherine Lee Young, it's nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see welcome you. Welcome to Louisville. We're glad to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. We have people welding. We have people doing metal fabrication. We have people building things like carpentry like you can see over here. We have robotics. John Dar takes us on a tour of one of the biggest high school skills competitions in the world. We have about 6,000 students from across the United States. Each one is the best in their state at what they do. These trades aren't necessarily something that you have to go to college for. It is the most intimidating, exciting, pushes you to be the best that you can be once again. Daria Ferdine won the competition and a scholarship a few years ago. And now she's a volunteer. It's her way of returning the favor, and it's also a win-win, because like most of us, she's still learning. I love being around what I call big fish and small ponds type of deal, because you know it forces you to become a shark. Samantha is a machining student. She runs big uh, lathes and mills. Nice. This is Samantha right here. We're, hi, Samantha. <laughs> looks, what are you doing in this photo, Samantha? Um, in that photo, I'm actually measuring a piece for a gumball machine that I made and designed to make it more accessible for people with disabilities. We've got business and industry sponsors that tell us all the time that they just don't have the skill set required, both hard and soft, from graduating students to fill what they find is the skills gap in their industry. I'm a contractor by trade, and I'm seeing the problem across the country that we do not have enough people to fill these jobs. We're going to need two million jobs in the next two years. This is where the future's coming from. DIY Network host Kaylee McCabe has been a huge proponent of Skills USA, mainly because of the structured program teaching leadership, employability, technical and professional skills training. My show shoots at such a high speed, I need a big crew and I can't find all the people I need. And so seeing an organization that is correctly training people in the right type of skill is very empowering. I actually credit CTE a lot with my success in high school and beyond. The Princeton admissions officer wrote me a handwritten note congratulating my success in SkillsUSA and saying they really hope to see me on campus next year. Oh, terrific. And you're, you're coming out of high school where? Uh, I go to Paradise Valley High School in Arizona. All right, good. Glad to have you here. And you are in Western Massachusetts? Yep, McCann Technical School. <laughs> she shocked me a moment ago and said she's a Yankees fan. <laughs> <laughs>